you had some pretty impressive influences repeat it. So if we can just get these up, Niall Ferguson, who's, who's actually a pretty decent historian. Well, who might have once been a yeah. pretty decent historian. He's a Harvard historian. He was a decent historian back in the day before he started writing trash for money and right. influence. Right. <laughs> but there's, uh, there's Ferguson and then we've got Dan Snow. Did that just come up a second ago? At, I think, the history guy he's called. <laughs> yeah. What histori like historiographical school says you use the sun as a source? Ah, uh, the yellow press history tradition of the Is late that... 19th century. I mean, it's a really curious thing to... You would imagine that anyone who was familiar with British history would at least think, hmm, this looks like a Zinoviev letter situation. Yeah. I mean, this looks like, you know, there is a long tradition here of, uh, of smears made up by uh, 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 the British press, uh, particularly with left-wing Labour leaders. Um, but yeah, no, the, 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 the kind of histrionic response from people like this, not historiographical, histrionic. That's really important to say, right? <laughs> That's really important to say. Because this is what I want to talk about. I always talk about confirmation bias and bandwagoning bias. Mm -hmm. And these people want to pass themselves off as ultra-rational, ultra-objective. And yet, somebody who's a Harvard historian will gleefully, gleefully, if you actually read uh, Ferguson's tweet, uh, reference a story by the Sun newspaper. Mm. And I mean, this really just does, uh, I think, betoken a certain kind of, like I say, confirmation bias within, within the mainstream media. Now, why would they do that? Why would he so happily make an idiot of himself? Well, because a central Jeremy Corbyn government doesn't just uh, conflict with his political values, it fundamentally undermines his material interests as somebody who's now in the the bourgeoisie, the middle class, okay? Although he will say, I came from a Glasgow council estate. Well, you don't anymore, yes, Niall. Yes.